What's up, everybody? This is Prophetess K. God bless you. God bless you. So come on in, you guys, and just begin to share. This is going to bless you. Uh, this word came to me this morning when I was getting dressed, and I woke up, and I was sipping on my morning coffee. So I want to just come on here to encourage you guys. So welcome, everybody. Amen. And let me know where you're watching from so I can shout you out. I just did a video in my emotions group, Overcoming Emotions with Prayers. All right, please join our group. All right, I just did a video out of this book and listen, I'm telling you, God is moving uh, every day, six o'clock. We pray on our prayer line, Tongues of Fire. I, I challenge you guys to pray uh, an hour a day in tongues. We've been doing it for years. I think it's going on two years now. My God, and God is doing the work. And I always tell people, when you pray and you build your uh, your Holy Spirit, I feel the glory coming. When you pray and you build up your Holy Spirit, amen. It's not a struggle to preach, pray, prophesy just in you. God will put a fire on you. So uh, join us. Also at noon today, I want to see you guys. Join us. God bless you, Cynthia. Amen. Join us. God is doing the work. Many people ask me, do you do one-on-ones? And my answer is no. If we don't have that mentor-mentee relationship established, I don't do one-on-ones because my schedule is hectic. It's busy. All right. That's why y'all don't see me a lot on here because I'll be working so hard. My God. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a publisher. Um, starting publishing Christ, uh, children's books. Yeah, that's a new avenue for me. I'm starting to publish fiction books. So that's a new avenue for me. And also I got a Christian magazine. I'm a wife. I'm a mother, you know, and I'm a mentor. So my I'm, I'm pretty scratched then you hear me. So anywho, I don't do one-on-one So if you would like a prophetic word from me, you need to get on my line and you need to be pushing star six When we do the Q&A sessions so I can speak a word in your life. All right So you need to call in and be patient. All right, be patient and I would love to speak thus said the Lord in your life I would love to pray over you to get healed to get delivered. Amen So please join us today at 12 o'clock. I'm gonna get on my prayer line and pray we do it you know, me and some other anointed women of God, we labor, you guys. We've been doing this for about, um, I think it's about two years, going on two years. All right, so join us. All right, so over the weekend, I got ordained as a prophet. I, well, I got affirmed as a prophet. Amen. So I thank God for that. So you saw some of the pictures. So like the pictures. Amen. So I thank, every, I thank everybody for the support and the prayers and the congrats, the congratulations. That means a lot to my heart. Thank you for supporting me on this journey. It means a lot to me uh also i want to get another announcement and then i'm going to get into this word it's going to bless you guys this morning all right so next month we will be in charlotte north carolina and you guys i'm so excited all right because i'm so excited because we are going to um We'll be doing our book fair you know uh this is my first book expo through my publishing company rejoice essential publishing so we got all kind of vendors people are coming all over so i hope to see some of you guys come support come meet me all right we want to meet you guys i have training we're going to do one-on-one -on -one sessions uh one-on-one -on -one sessions um i'm going to lay hands uh we're going to have a training class so it's going to be awesome to show you how to write that book all right so i'm excited so yeah god is doing some great things so let's get into this so this morning this word came to me and I'm getting dressed and it's just pushing through the storm building through the storm some of us are going through stuff right now and you focus on the trial so much that you, it's a delay it's a hindrance it's a blockage and you just stop all progress when God when he's, he's on you and he's telling you to you know you got to write the book you wh wh what are we waiting for you know you know you got to get that business out you know you got to go ahead and fill the application out and, and do the paperwork and, and do what God told you to do but you, you 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 get so consumed by the cares of this life you get so consumed by the trials and the tribulations that you shut everything down come on you know so I want to give you some strategies today to help build and help push through the storm some of us lost the art of pushing I, I i told i tell people all the time let the warfare be uh momentum let it be um you know a, a push let it be uh a motivation factor for you to 
keep going, for you to keep pushing. You know, see, when the enemy's trying to mess with me, I know that I'm on the right track. When the enemy try to come at me, and especially when the Lord is opening up new realms of revelation, or the Lord's causing me to do something new out of my comfort zone, and I get that demonic resistance, oh, baby, I know I'm on the right track. I know that what God has given me is life-changing. I know what God has given me is uh, revelatory. I know what God has given me is needed for someone else to get their breakthrough. So I had to learn how to push. I learned how to stand my ground. I learned how to stop my foot, put my foot down. You got to put your foot down and you got to speak stuff in the atmosphere. You got to say, devil, you will not stop me in Jesus name. You get out of my way, Satan. I rebuke you in Jesus name, but I'm going to get this assignment done. Nothing is going to stop me from getting this assignment done. Nothing's going to stop what God wants to do with my life. I don't care who doesn't like it. I don't care who's trying to come at me or try to come against me. Nothing's going to stop what God wants to do through my life. So number one, when we're talking about building through the storm, you got to be determined up here in your mind. You got to be determined in your mind. You got to say, you know what? My mind is made up. And I wrote uh, books on the mind. I wrote a book, uh, Conquering the Mind, a Daily Devotional, having a made up mind. I wrote another book on the art of meditation, just have meditating and putting God's word in your mind. That way you can be determined. You got to say, you know what? My mind is made up and I'm going to see this thing through the long haul. I'm going to get this done because God already showed me a vision. God already showed me the end, the end result. God already showed me a dream about this thing. And you know what? And I want what I saw in the spirit. I'm not going to come into agreement with, with, with my surroundings. I'm not going to come into agreement with my emotions. I'm going to have my mind made up and I'm going to keep pushing. Amen. You got to keep pushing. So you got to have your mind made up to build. All right. Come on. Don't let another year go by and you ain't got that book out. Come on. I'm talking to somebody today. I meet so many people. Years some went by. Come on. Really? It shouldn't take you 10 years to write a book. I'm being honest. You know, the longest it ever took me to write a book was the length of my ministry. I, I, I said yes to the calling on my life, you know, five years ago. Yes, I've been saved since 2014. But, excuse me, 2004 I've been saved, but I sat in the church. But God gave me my purpose and my Simon in 2014. So it took me about five years to write my newest book, Warfare Strategies, because of the revelation. All right, I couldn't write it until it was in my heart to write. I had the idea to write it, but it wasn't the right season to release it. You know, so that's the longest it ever took me to write a book out of what 23 books. Come on, you guys. So what what's your excuse? What's your excuse? You know, I, I've been to jail twice. I was on probation. I got evicted. Been with the divorce. So I didn't know where food was going to come, but I was still preaching. I was still prophesying. I was still building. Amen. Doing my assignment. What is your excuse? Stop making up excuses. Well, they don't like me. Nobody support me. You know, uh, they said this about me. Listen, you know, I, I feel like I'm underneath attack. Listen, shake all that off. Shake that off. Stop making up excuses. And again, have your mind made up to get it done, to get the assignment completed. All right. Number two, Number two, all right, use your authority. You got to have your mind made up. Use your authority. Use your authority. Again, stop giving credit to the devil, all right? Remember, greater is he that's in us than him that's in the world. Uh, we have authority over the enemy. The Lord has given us power. You hear me? He has given us power. He has given us power to tread upon the serpents and the scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So nothing by enemy shall harm us. So it's nothing the devil says or does, you know, that can hurt us. He just, I'm telling you, he's it, like a, 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 he's, he's playing bluff. You hear me? And I can say that through experience because when I was, uh, in Colorado and I had anxiety for five years, you hear me? And the devil told me every day for five years, he's going to kill me. He's going to, uh, uh, I was going to die that day. Nothing happened. I'm still here. I'm still here, but it wasn't until I started using my authority when I started saying, you know what? The scripture says this, the devil's telling me one thing, but the Bible is saying this. So I'm going to go with the Bible. And I never forget when I started reading the Bible and meditating on the Bible, then that's when I heard the devil in my head saying, stop that. And he was cursing me out, saying all kind of crazy stuff to me. Listen, so I started saying, you know what? God told me I'm this. God said that I'm sitting in heavenly places with 
with him. God said, no weapon formed against me will prosper. So I began to use my authority through Christ Jesus. And I began to study about Jesus that even demons tremble at his, at his name. That he made a mockery of Satan and, 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 and his minions. He made a public spectacle of the devil. So I began to, and this is why I pray so hard. This is where you live in Colorado too. Amen, Pastor. Amen. And this is why I go so hard. This is why some of you guys should see me pray aggressively. And you see me do a lot of warfare prayers because I had the devil in my mind for five years. So the best revenge is to torment him. The best revenge is to go ahead and go hard. And you know, I'm going for blood. That's the best revenge. So use your authority. Amen. Remember our identity is in Christ. So when you're building through the storm, you got to use your authority and say, nah, mm -mm. I'm God's anointed. God called me. God gave me this, this, this assignment. I'm going to get this church off the ground this year. Amen. I'm going to get my, my, my nonprofit this year. I'm going to get my funding this year. I, I, I'm going to get this loan this year. I'm going to get whatever God told you to do this year. You got to have that mind. Thank you so much. You got to, you got to have your mind. Um, your mind made up and walking that authority. That means you are unstoppable in Christ. You are unstoppable in Christ. Amen. You are unstoppable in Christ. So when you build through the storm, number three is being consistent. Be consistent. All right. I, I, people always ask me all the time, do book coaching. You know, how are you writing all these books in a short amount of time? I'm consistent. I'm consistent. You know, every day I try to write something. If I can't write every day, then I'm going to catch up. You know, I'm going to catch up, but I, I, I set goals. I'm going to do what I got to do to get it done. I'm consistent. One thing about me, I don't care who walks away, who, who, who leaves or whatever like that. I'm going to be consistent. My ministry is going to keep going if you're here or not. All right. That's what, that's what you got to have the mindset. Your ministry don't stop because somebody walk away from you. You're not, you're not less anointed because somebody walk away from you. Be consistent. You know, if God told you to do the five o'clock call and nobody's calling in, you be, be on there by yourself. You and hold. Holy Spirit, and as you're faithful and as you're consistent, God is going to make you ruler over much. We got to be faithful over the small things. All right, when I started my prayer ministry, you know, it was only me and one other person on that line, and I began to do it and do it. I've been doing the prayer, my prayer lines since 2000 and probably 15, probably 2014, 15. All right. And it grew, grew, grew right now. It's at a consistent number, right? But if I say I'm prophesying tonight, you better believe it'd be a hundred people plus on there. All right. Cause everybody won't prophetic word, everybody. But right now I told people, I said, no, I'm going to pull myself away from that because I don't want to birth out prophetic junkies. I don't want to be prophesying this person and they on five other people's lines. I, I, mm -mm. I don't want witches and things trying to come on my line because they're chasing after a prophet or a prophetic word. So I said, God, I'm going to seek you and we're going to pray. We're going to pray down heaven. So I, I shift the ministry f to prayer. Off, off, even though I do prophesy a lot and some of the women on the line prophesy, you know, um, we shift that. We don't focus on prophesying. We focus on prayer and praying the heart of God, amen, to get more results because in, in God, you're going to prophesy anywho, you know, if that's on your life, even if we don't even try to do it, right? So we're talking about building through the storm. Be consistent. If it's just you right now in this season, God told you to start a church. Nobody's supporting you. Be, be consistent. Be consistent. God told you to do a business. Where the clientele, be consistent. All right, work hard. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Do your part and God will do his part. You can't just start one day and say, I quit. It's too hard. Of course, it's going to be hard. Everything worth having, it ain't going to be easy. Everything worth having, you got to work hard for, for, right? Like marriages, you know, marriage is hard work. You got to work hard for it, right? You haven't given, given birth naturally, you know, you got to work hard to give birth. You got to labor. You, you got to be in labor, pushing and, and paying for a long amount of time or certain a length of time, you know, uh, everything that God has given us. Sometimes we got to work hard for, for, for stuff don't just fall out the sky stuff just not gonna always fall out the sky that's right and another thing i like that i'm gonna use that for for number four no fear that's right prophet amy no fear you cannot be fearful all right when you're building through the storm you can't be fearful of the devil you can't be fearful of what people uh people think about you, you can't be fearful of people's opinions keep building keep building and i want to prophesy 
this afternoon. Amen. You're going to get what, what you believe in God for. If you want to put it up, I want to touch and agree with it. Amen. You believe in God for marriage. I prophesy you're going to get that marriage retreat done and marriage ministry, uh, your books, your CDs, your albums, uh, your projects, whatever God is putting your hand to, uh, your hand to do. I prophesy. You're going to get it done. You're going to be able to build no matter what's coming at you. Remember, we're not alone. Amen. The Holy Spirit will put an anointing, all right, upon you to get it done. All right. And listen, we got to learn how to build through it. Just like Nehemiah, he was able to build, all right, when he had uh, some ballot, Tobiah, some of the Arabs, and some of the false prophets like Noah Diah coming at him. He said, you know what? I'm going to put a weapon on my hip and I'm going to build through this storm. Yeah, I may, I may be, I'm scared for my life. My God, but I'm going to build through this storm, right? So I pray that you get that job this season. I feel somebody, your ears like ringing, a little tingling in your ears. And I pray right now, right now that you'll be healed in Jesus name. And I feel somebody, you got like some kind of nerve damage in your right foot. I pray for your foot to be healed in Jesus name. Or I pray for businesses to be successful. Amen. I want to prophesy over your business. Let me tell you something, you know, not all of us are meant to clock in somewhere. All right. I've been, uh, I've been off of a job. Listen, I've been working for God full time, 2016, meaning that I don't clock in anywhere. All right. So he's the best boss. He's the best compensator and God, listen, God, I believe God is raising up entrepreneurs as never before, you know, because when the government shuts down, you're still going to be in operation. When the economy is bad, you know, you'll still be in operation. You'll still be prospering because, you know, he's our source. And, you know, that, 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 that job, that, when you're working for another company, is not your source. I'm talking to somebody today, amen, I speak financial blessings in your life. I decree to clever go stronger and higher with God in Jesus' name. Amen, you're going to get it done. Stop looking at uh, uh, the what's around you. Focus on Christ as never before. That was my push. That was my push. I was able to get the get the task done when I was going through some stuff. I was able to get it all done by focusing on Christ. Because I said, God, I don't want to let you down. And remember, God is... He put a, he put a calling on your life, an assignment you got to do. You all right? Remember, it's not about you. Someone needs what you got. Somebody needs what you carry. Somebody needs that 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 project to get complete. Whatever. Somebody needs that your church, your ministry to come forth. All right. So it's not about you. All right. So I pray that our mindset will change this afternoon. Amen. I pray for your families on here. I pray for financial increase. All right. I pray that you keep going. I, I I want to invite you. I'm getting ready to get off. I want to probably prophesy to like one or two people on here, and I'm get off and i'm gonna go um get prepared for my noonday call but i want to see you guys on there amen uh i want to pray yeah holy spirit speak through me lord i pray for uh gerald i think your real name is gerald wow gee father yeah the lord is telling you uh son amen i know your heart is longing for companionship companionship is in your, uh, your, your, um, it's, 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 it's a sting in your heart and God is healing the sting in your heart as far as companionship. And you are not to blame for, uh, any failures. You're not to blame, uh, just, uh, it seemed like a lot, a lot of pressure is on you, uh, uh heaviness, but God is going to give you peace. God's going to show you how to really, really fast and pray. I feel like the Lord's about to call you on a fast. Um, talking to Gerald, amen. Um, you saying, God, I need direction. I need clarity. God, I don't even know where to go. God, I, I feel some kind of confused. I feel like I'm about to lose my mind. And I want to tell you, you will not lose your mind. Amen. God's going to even show you how to, uh, generate wealth. He's going to give you so many creative ideas i'm talking to gerald so many creative ideas you're gonna own your own studio you're gonna own your own i'm telling you you're gonna be listen i'm talking to G uh, gerald hey man you're gonna uh be the platform where people come to you for production people come to you for music people come to you um you're gonna be so uh um innovative so many ideas to get your uh to get your uh your, your, the, the brand, the vision, the ideas off the ground. Amen. Talking to you about G Woody. I think that's Woody. Amen. Um, you're going to own your own. You're going to create jobs for other people. You're going to uh, be in a place in God where you, you'll mentor men, you'll mentor, uh, uh, these boys and you'll, you'll, uh, tell them, um, 
you know, the do's and don'ts of relationships and you'll be transparent and you'll open up and you say, this is where I've been and these are the mistakes I, I, I've gone through and you'll help them. It's almost like you, you, you heard of like boys and girls clubs. I see the Lord dealing with you with ideas concerning like a boy and a girl club. It's not going to be girls club. Mine is the girls. It's like a boys club where you, you meet with young uh, men and like sometimes y'all go out to eat, you fellowship, you have a word uh, and then you pray. Um, but they're they going to need it. And some of these men are going to come off the street. Some of these men and boys are going to be on drugs and things like that. And, uh, God's going to give you so many ideas. And, um, even if you, uh, feel like you're not qualified, the Lord's going to even tell you at times, stop doubting your calling. I called you. I chosen you. You got work to do. I called you. I chosen you for such a time as this. So, uh, go through, you know, the process. I know you don't understand it. Amen. But God's going to give you ideas, uh, for, uh, entrepreneurship, uh, to generate wealth. Um, and then you say, God, I don't even know where the money's going to come to start up this business. Uh, the things that you're giving me for business, you know, God's going to do it. He's going to do it. Amen. Um, learn the art of worship this season. Amen. Like I know, like you like to, you, you in musical incline, but God's going to push you deeper, deeper realms of worship and deeper realms of, uh, just, calling on heaven, you know, get in the hold of heaven. Um, and, and that getting a hold of his presence is going to, uh, generate wealth, supernatural wealth in Jesus name. And I want to pray for, uh, who can I pray for? Uh, shush. Shalanda, pray in Shalanda, pray in Shalanda. Uh, woman of God, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for filling my mouth for praying, Shalanda. Uh, I, I, I begin to see like a teaching grace, a teaching grace. You have a desire to just give, 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 give. And even right now, I just feel like God is loosening like so many creative creative ideas around you and you can get it uh fast learner fast pace you move quickly uh you you move swiftly and you get it and sometimes you get in a level uh, uh sometimes you, you can get a little frustrated because people are not getting it people are not um you know, getting as fast as you, but you have a, a heart uh, to train, you have a heart to pour, you have a, a heart to uh, want other people to win around you. And because you want other people to win around you to succeed, God's going to uh, set you up. Amen. He's going to set you up for success. He's going to set you up um, to even get over the hump, get over the little hump, uh, the, the little hump that try to come at you to try to... Um, discourage you i felt like you probably perhaps dealt with some counterfeits some some uh something that appeared to be a god but it wasn't god something that appeared to be uh you know, uh, the right, the, the real deal, but it wasn't a man, but God is going to send the real, uh, he's going to real opportunities going to open up for you. Uh, real authentic relationships are going to open up for you. And, you know, I, I, I see, uh, just, I don't know if you're in school or you're going to even further your education, but I, I, I see like a, a, a captain gown and I just see wisdom and I see the Lord also I'm talking to pray in Shalanda. Uh, I see like, uh, a, a uh, a cane, meaning that you're going to use your authority, like authority, you know, God is going to uh, cause you to recognize your authority that you have in him as never before, because where God is taking you, there's going to be some people that will try to challenge the anointing on your life, but you're not going to even be bothered by that. You're not going to be even bothered by that. Uh, you're going to use your authority in Christ as never before. And, you know, I feel like you're out of your comfort zone and, you know, God wants to encourage you and let you know that you can handle it. God has called you for it and you're going to do things that you thought you would never do in Christ. Um, you're going to be traveling. Um, I, I see just you, you launching new projects and new ideas and things like that, but God's going to send you real opportunities, real relationships in the name of Jesus. And God is even increasing the anointing upon your life. Amen. Sometimes you felt stale. Sometimes you felt like you were getting ready to burn, be burnt out. And even sometimes you felt overwhelmed, but I feel like a fresh anointing that God wants to loose out. I feel it right now. I feel a fresh, and let me know if I'm making sense to you, praying Shalanda. 
a, I feel a fresh anointing upon you. Amen. Uh, and, and listen, and God's going to even vindicate you. I feel like even some relationships in ministry were like flaky, like counterfeit. And God's going to send authentic relationships, people that really love you, people that support you. Um, you're not going to even uh, sweat like church hurt or who didn't support you. Amen. Because you know what God promised you. You know what God spoken to you. You you say, God, this ain't it right now. You know what, what I'm, this ain't, this ain't it, you know, but you know, it's more, you know, God has more, you know, how God, you know, how God has greater for you. And I want to encourage you, uh, praying Shalana to be faithful, be faithful because just a matter of time, just a matter of time for you to get the harvest, the manifestations in the name of Jesus. Amen. But I see you using your authority. Amen. Listen, don't back down when the enemy challenges, uh, challenge you. Amen. I, I see a level of boldness rising up in you and you're going to begin to speak, um, um, you know, boldness, amen, so much boldness, so much authority, so much power, so much fire, my God, I'm, I, I, yes, God, and I also see, well, I'm praying, Shalom, I see, I see a map, uh, coming before me and I felt like you had the desire probably to travel but I felt like maybe there's some hindrances or something where it comes to traveling or something like that and God wants you to know you know I'm going to open up the doors I'm going to cause you to travel I'm going to launch you to even travel and sometimes when you travel it's going to even be supernatural where where this map is coming before me and I see you just touching Play, like you know how you just put your hand on the map and it's falling on different places you know and it's going to be all god all god it's going to send you it's going to launch you whatever you need if the, the passport the, the tickets or whatever you know i see all that coming all right and it's going to be all him in jesus mighty name amen but let me get off i think it's almost 12 o'clock i'm not sure but i love you guys again if you want to bless the ministry go to my website go to prophetesk.org or go to cash app dollar sign prophetess kim i feel somebody on here getting a word of knowledge you you're, you're your left leg hurts really bad on this side i pray i command you to be healed in jesus name all right um i gotta go uh i i want to see you guys on a new call if you again if you want uh if you want prayer all right if you want me to pray for you you need to call the line all right call every day monday through friday all right i'll see you soon god bless have a beautiful day